Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. Today, just want to do a quick video on support.com, ticker symbol is SPRT, as well as my trades that I placed today. So this stock has been making huge moves for the past month or so, more so in the past two days. Today, it was up 33%. It closed at 26.30. Market, it rallied all the way to $55, came back down, market open, hit the supports of 30, bounce back up, and then we rally all the way to 59.69. I thought this could have easily hit 100, but it didn't. And then we come all the way back down to 26, $27. And right now it's just flat after hours. So this stock was halted several times today. So not only did this stock rally, there was BBIG, there was NURO. So this dog definitely had a short squeeze. If we take a look at this chart, this is a daily chart, daily three months chart. Back in June, it was only trading at 260. And then we can see that it's just slowly started to trend up. Yesterday, it closed at 20. And then today, it went all the way to 59.69. So this is definitely a short squeeze. The last short squeeze that I know of besides AM AMC was NEG. Take a look at NEG. This stock went to a high of $79.07 and right now it's trading around $19. So let's take a look at this article. So this was dated today. Shares doubled on Friday morning after rising 41% on Thursday. On a subreddit dedicated to the company's shares, one user called the action the largest short squeeze mankind has ever seen. So the company is going through a merger. In March, they announced that it would merge with Greenwich Generation Holdings, a Bitcoin miner that says that it will become the only publicly listed vertically integrated mining operation in the country. Greenwich owns its own power plants and claims to have lower mining costs than competitors. So the news came out since March, but, but the prices did not reflect even though Bitcoin hit all times high. So this article is stating what's happening now appears to be a short squeeze coupled with a surge in retail buying that is putting enormous upward pressure on the shares. So this analyst who tracks short interest for S3 partners wrote in an email that short interest as a percentage of available shares was 60% versus 5% for the average stock in the Russell 2000. Even GameStop and AMC no longer have short interest at those levels. They were at 16% and 11.4% respectively on as of Thursday. Short sellers are paying a very large fee to short support.com shares. With an average 91% stock borrow fee on existing shares, meaning that a short seller who borrowed $100 in shares will pay a fee of $91 a year. For new short sellers, the fee is even steeper. Some pay more than 300%. That's ridiculous. It says, short sellers have already lost $71 million in August. The analyst also expects that firms writing option contracts are buying stock, creating more buying pressure in what's known as a gamma squeeze. This analyst doesn't think the short selling or gamma squeeze explains the whole move. The bigger factor may simply be that there is so much buying interest in such a small number of shares available to trade. Support.com's flow is just 10 million shares. On Thursday, volume was 102 million shares. And we'll take a look at today's volume. Today it was 166 million. This was a very hot stock today. So we'll take a look at what I traded today. So I had some shares that I bought after hours yesterday because during markets, I had sold one naked call. It was only one, it was a 30 strike price. And I didn't feel comfortable selling this because it was only 10 points away from being in the money. And when we're selling calls, we don't want to be in the money. We want them to expire worthless. But I saw that the stock was going up 
after hours. So I bought 100 shares to make this call a cover call. But I had put a sell limit on those shares so that way that if it does pull back, I can get in at a lower price. So the shares sold, we can see at 401 Pacific time, sold at 3036 and I decided to get back in because there was no pulling back. So I got in 150 shares at 3107 and then I got out at 34 and it started to continue to go up again. And I bought in, you can see $49.37, $50 I bought in. Oh, and then market open, it fell. And at market open, the stock dropped, which caused this stock going from a $1,000 loss to a $500 loss. So I closed this out, buy to close. I held my shares, but the stock was just going down. So I decided to sell it, made a profit of $700, and then I had sold puts, which I made about $37, $67, $10, and I lost about $30 on one because I just didn't want to hold on to them. This was a 20 strike price. And then I sold some more calls, so three in total. Those calls were actually down about $4,000 intraday when the stock was going up. It hit When it hit almost hit 60, it was down $4,000. Luckily, the stock dropped, which I was able to close out with a profit. I closed out one, 1,000, and the other one, 100. So I was able to make at least $1,000 on these trades if I had bought call options instead of sell options. So when we see these stocks having so much momentum, we don't want to be selling options because that was one mistake that I made with AMC. I noticed that AMC was just picking up a lot of volume and it was just picking up a lot of volume, a lot of momentum. And for me to have sold naked calls was something I regret to this day because my portfolio was liquidating. It was everything that I have worked for. I'll be watching the stock. On Monday I mean this can easily go back up who knows really if we can get volume as much as we did this can easily go back up to 60 or even higher but it's good that there's a pullback from today so that way on Monday we can go much higher but always keep an eye on this stock and set stop losses if you're holding on to shares because if you have bought in at 50 then it's 70 stop loss and right now it's at 30. It would be down a lot. And that's why I didn't want to hold on to anything. I didn't want to hold on to calls. I didn't want to hold on to shares just because these stocks are just extremely volatile. Hopefully this will go back up and I can be on the right side this time buying call options instead of selling call options. Let me know in the comment down below if you made money on support.com and check out my Discord. I'm trying to find like-minded people like myself who's interested in making money in the stock market or who's trying to rebuild a portfolio like myself. Thanks for watching.